rice. I'm gonna make Portuguese rice pudding. It's called arroz doce. So this is the ingredients. You gotta, so I'm gonna use the full bag, 750 grams, four liters of homo milk. I'm gonna use 10 eggs, just the yolks, some skin from the lemons, cinnamon, sugar, and salt. A, tea, a spoon and a half of salt, 500 milligram, milliliters of sugar. And I'm gonna use four trays and probably one little plate. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna get everything ready as what to mix in. So I'm gonna do the sugar right now. <clears throat> so a little bit less than 500. You can. It's nice. It's, it's sweet. Right there, that's about 500, right there. It's excellent there. And uh, let's do the eggs right now. So the eggs, I'm gonna get the yolks out of it. <clears throat> These are farm eggs. You don't have to get them too clean, but this is the way I do it. I'm gonna do 10 of these. You don't have to do it too good. You gotta put it through the strainer after. <clears throat> These are my neighbors' eggs from the farm here beside us. Two more. That's pretty good. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put this right in. Guys, so make sure you get the rice, the right rice, not the skinny rice. It's gotta be the flat one there like this. It's a little bit wide. It's got those little white little things you can see like that, okay? This is the perfect rice for this rice pudding. Okay, so that goes all in, the whole bag, 700 milliliters. With that, I'm gonna put a full spoon of salt. One and a half, guys. Okay, it's got a lot of sugar, it's gonna taste. You wanna taste, when you put that spoon of rice in your mouth, you're gonna feel a little salt on your tongue there. It's gonna be excellent. <clears throat> then you wanna cut the lemon, four, five strips, six, very thin. Try not to get too much of that white part because it gives a little bit of the, of the flavor to it. So that's one. You almost can see the knife through it. Three, I mean, sorry, two.
Breathe. I'll do six. That's six. That's gonna get a nice lemony flavor there. Okay, I'm gonna put this on top of that hot stove here for now. And let's get the milk in the pot. So, it's four liters. Okay, you're gonna grab probably a cup. You wanna put a cup of milk with the eggs. So when you put it in, it doesn't, the eggs won't scramble on you. So a cup, cup and a half, and that's perfect like that. And then the rest goes in the pot. This, this, the egg and the rest of that milk goes in at the end. I'll show you that in the end. Like this is gonna give you a lot of rice, but you know, don't worry about it. I'll give some, make some for you and give some to your neighbors. Or your family. Okay, that's all the ingredients for now. The sugar and the egg will be going at the end. And the cinnamon. Okay, so we're gonna bring this on high for now, get it nice and warmed up. It's gonna take about an hour, an hour and a half. It's got a very thick pot, guys. So it won't get stuck to the bottom. If you do it in a thin pot, it's not gonna work. You're gonna wreck it all up. It's gonna get stuck to the bottom. Take your time. Now you can keep it high, keep stirring it all the time. Once it starts getting warm, it's gonna thicken up. Let it get thick up nice and, and they want the rice almost all cooked, right? Almost to, uh, all dente I'd say. Once it gets all dente, <clears throat> you're gonna throw in the sugar. And you're gonna let it come, don't let it boil. You, you don't want it to boil, guys. So take your time. Once the heat that's on high now to get it going, but after, keep an eye on it. Lower it down, a little bit low. You see it's gonna smoke a little few, one bubble here or there. That's fine, not a big deal. Try not to let it boil too much. I like to keep this here, this cup here. I can put my spoon in there. And at the end, we'll put the cinnamon on. And now we're just gonna cook it, okay? Okay, guys, this is about 20 minutes in. You can see it's steaming a lot. I don't stop stirring it. This is the way I do it all the time. I'm stirring it. I have already lowered it down to medium because it's starting to smoke a lot. I don't want it to boil, but keep moving this rice around all the time, just like that. So 20 minutes, you're looking at another 30 minutes easy for this. And then I'll film you again when it gets ha almost all done. You're gonna see the way it's thicken up. I can feel it thicken up already on the spoon. You'll see it's gonna get nice and thick. It's almost gonna dry right out. It's still nice and creamy. This milk like that, the homo milk makes it very creamy. It's an ex excellent rice pudding. You guys try it, you guys are gonna love it. Guys, it's been another 20 minutes. As you come in here and see it now, look how thick it is now. The rice is almost cooked, almost cooked. So it's, it's probably gonna take another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna add the sugar now in this. I keep stirring it. And this is the way I kept doing it. You always stir it very low now. You can see it starts to get shiny there, look at that. So you're gonna cook this probably five minutes. A little higher, play around with it. 
Just don't let it boil now or get stuck to the bottom. Integrate all this good. So let's say five minutes. See how it's getting shiny and creamier? And then the eggs will change it to a different color. A little yellowish will be good. So let's hold this for five minutes now. And I'll start it back again when I add the eggs, okay? Guys, so I'm getting, it looks pretty good now. The sugar has been in here for five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna start removing the peels of the lemon out, count them, see if you got them all. And then after when you put it in the trays, you'll take some more maybe. And as if you can get them all out now, you should be able to. Be careful if some broke. But just keep track of them, they'll come out. And now I'm gonna go for another five minutes maybe. And I'm gonna throw in the sugar shortly. I think there's some more lemon. There's one right there. Sometimes they break, so I'll just try and get them. You don't want it to go in a tray. Try not to put it in a tray. You can see you got a little bubbles from the heat there. You just be careful now so you don't get it stuck to the bottom. Yeah, quite a bit of it broke. See a few bubbles there. Keep it high again. I think I got almost all of them. Put one more here. And you keep trying. We'll see it. The rice is pretty well almost cooked. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna one more there. Yeah, that's what happens, they break. Be careful now. It's Use the stick. See it's bubbling up a little bit. See that? Just slow it right down again. Keep stirring it fast. Get the corners real good. Okay, I'm gonna add the eggs now. With the eggs, I'm probably gonna let it cook another five minutes. And just check the rice. Okay, it's pretty good now. So I'll get the strainer. Stir it up. in just like that and keep stirring it look at that color now I see another lemon there and that gets all the white out from the egg so it doesn't go in there. You don't want that in there. Okay, I'm gonna bring the heat a little up again. Keep stirring nice and quickly. This probably takes another five, 10 minutes tops. Okay, and then I'll start putting it under trays. Okay. It's been another five minutes. As you can see, look at that, the egg got all incorporated. Still looks white, a little, a little on the yellowish. It's looking good, I tasted it. The rice is cooked. So at this point, I'm gonna turn it off. This pot will retain the heat quite a bit in it. And now I'm gonna start filling up the trays. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up the tray. Should give me four trays in a little bit. Keep going on it. Depends on what you put in it. Keep moving it around a little bit more. Just kind of shake it around. You'll see it later. It's good. Let's see if there's any lemons. Try and grab it. Oh, a lot of lemons. 
broke today. Cut them too thin, probably. I think we're gonna get four trays today. I did it a lot faster. Maybe I put too much on the other ones too. Excellent. So now the cinnamon, you just put as much as you want. Some people like more, some people like less. I just shake it on just like that. I like quite a bit. Feels good. Yeah, I overfill these ones too. These first ones are way too high. That's why. So I do this. That looks pretty good to me. So. Then I come to the pot here. So normally, get my spoon out. This is the best part. When my mom used to do this, I used to clean the pot. I used to scrape and eat it warm. This is the best part. Actually, it's very good. You can taste the sugar. You can taste the salt. And the right. The rice is cooked too. This is my mom's recipe, my grandmother's, from Castel Neva, Portugal, from the north side. I'd like to say hi to my dad, hi to my mom. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon.